Okay. Um, first one. Imagine you had a big billboard. Let's say on Times Square, everybody would see it. Uh, what would you put on it? Well, so I would put what I placed recently in the signature of my email, which, and I will read it to you. So the statement is, empower your descendants with a world that transcends your ancestors, sorry, um, your ancestors' legacy. Again, empower your descendants with a world that transcends your ancestors' legacy. So, this would be my... Um, okay. Do you have a favorite quote? Sorry? Do you have a favorite quote? Yeah, so this would be my favorite quote. Oh, oh that is a quote. By, by whom is it? No, it's... Oh, favorite quote by someone else. That's a, that's a quote from myself. <laughs> but yes, I do have a favorite quote. And in fact, it's a paraphrasing the quote of Albert Einstein. And this is about the virtues of tears. And Einstein, I mean, it's a bit of a paraphrasing, said that a good model, a good theory, should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. And this is rather profound. Suggests to us that we really want to understand the world, if we want to theorize about the world, then we have to create a structure that is as simple as possible, but at the same time, not simpler in the sense that we should maintain a healthy distance between assumptions and predictions. And this is sort of something that guided me as a, as a theorist uh, in, in my own research. Uh, a controversial opinion. I believe what almost nobody else does. Um, I'm not sure how controversial this opinion is these days, but I do feel as a person that works in the academic world in, in the past decades, that we are entering into an era of censorship that reminds me a little bit of the period of the Inquisition in the Middle Ages, in the sense that uh, the topics of research that are considered illegitimate, and there is great amount of censorship and scrutiny that is really not healthy for academic research. I view some sort of uh, oppression in the academic uh, in the academic circles that I hope uh, will subside in the coming uh, in the coming years and decades. But at the moment, we are at the height of this oppression. As I said. At the moment, it's not, uh, I think that many people share my viewpoint, but I think that uh, hopefully we will see some actions that will allow the academic, academic freedom to be restored because this is critical for scientific development. Yes. 